Welcome, let's learn Broom Service the Card Game, a 3 to 6 player game by Andreas Pelikan and Alexander Pfister, published by Alia and Ravensburger. Once again, witches zoom on their brooms, delivering colorful potions via broom service. Once again, the magical question is, are you brave or are you a coward? Should you risk a lot and lose it all, or play it safe and just squeak by? In four fast rounds, players must prove their courage and their cunning. The goal of the game is to be the player with the most victory points at the end of the game. To set up, sort the task cards according to the number of players on the cards. So for a 3 to 4 player game, you'd add these cards, a 3 to 5 player game, you'd add these cards, and so forth. So if we were to set up for 4 players, we would take these cards and leave behind the ones exclusive to a 5 and 6 and 6 player game. Shuffle the task cards being used this game, then place three cards face up in the middle of the play area. Then set the remaining cards beside that. Then take which card piles depending on the number of players. For a three player game, take 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, and shuffle that together. For a four player game, add 20. For a five player game, add 21 and for a six player game, add 22. Then shuffle the witch cards and deal each player the following number of cards. For a five and six player game, deal 14 cards. For a four player game, 15 cards. And for a three player game, 17 cards. Then place one card in the center of the table per number of players. So for our four player game, four cards. And place the rest as a draw pile beside that. Then, starting with the oldest player, each player will take one card for themselves, then place it in your play area upside down, what is referred to as cowardly in your play area. The game is played over four rounds. Each round consists of a minimum of three and a maximum of nine turns, each played the same way. Players try to gain the most victory points by playing witches carefully sometimes bravely, sometimes cowardly. To start a round, each player chooses three different witches and sets the remaining cards aside. They will not be used this round. Then the first player will choose a card and state whether it is brave or cowardly. To start, let's be brave. Then play continues on to the next player on the left. If it comes to any player's turn and they do not have a card that was played, they say next, and play continues on to the next player on the left. When it comes to a player's turn and they do have a card that was played this round, they can take that card and play it cowardly, which affects no other card, or they can play it bravely, which cancels out the previous brave card. The last player to play a brave witch is the one who begins the next turn. Unless that player has played all three of their cards, in which case the next player to that player's left is the one who would start the next turn. Also, if all players played their cards cowardly, the first player to do so would begin the next turn. When all players have played all three of their cards, the round ends. Then all players stack their cards by color, keeping the same orientation. Cards that were cancelled get reclaimed into a player's hand, and in the future people will continue and create new stacks. And now whenever starting a new round, each player takes three cards from the draw pile, add those cards to your hand, and choose three more witches. The player who ended the last round with the brave card starts the new round. If a player is able to meet the conditions of a task card, then at the end of the round, they take that card. And if there are other players who were also able to meet the conditions, they would take a card from the draw pile. Either way, they are worth five victory points. And if a player was able to achieve more than one task card, they may take more than one task card. When the draw pile gets depleted, you know that this is the fourth and final round. To tally up your points at the end of a game, first count each color individually, and use your reference card to know how many points to award yourself. So in this case, we have 
four yellow, which would give us three points. We have three red, which gives us two points, and so forth. Then count up the brave potions on each card and award yourself that amount of points and add five points for each task card. The player with the most victory points is the winner. In case of a tie, the tied player with fewer witch cards is the winner. But if there's still a tie, the players share the victory. Thank you for joining me to learn Broom Service, the card game. Have fun!